to tell them what you're getting ready to do? I gotta take all this off because I'm taking this window out. That's where we're gonna put the window. Oh, there's a nest for Sarah. Yay. Remind me not to step on it. I'll okay. Try. So, let me tell you a little thing about my life because I'm sure my life is like yours. I'm in the middle of trying to get this freaking house stripped and painted, which is possibly one of my least favorite handyman things to do. And remember a year ago when we had to fix that, ho that pipe over there and I jerry-rigged it? Well, the good news is it lasted a year. The bad news is that running the pressure hose washer on that hose caused pressure to back up on it and it pushed it out. So currently, I've got it glued back in place. We have no water in the house and I'm going to wait and see what happens with it. So there's that. Yay. Meantime, I might as well get to work because this is not going to do itself and if I've got to take on a massive plumbing project, it's going to take even longer to get back to it. Well, why would I open a window up and then well, because I can throw a fucking feed sack over the goddamn hole. Yes, if we have to. And then I'm still that much closer to having a window in here, so. Plus, I have not a lot of faith, but a little bit of faith because it worked the last time. Yeah, for a whole year. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so one of the hard parts is that I put this part yep. on. Yep, yes you not did. Not the window, but the trim. Which means it's screwed in. And glued. And probably glued. And nailed. So now I gotta take it all apart. So not a big deal. I had to move the scaffolding system. That was a big deal. The scaffolding's a big deal. If I have to raise it, which I will over there, I'm gonna have to have Meyer help me because I can't do it by myself. It's not a one person job. So, there's that. And I don't like to ask for help, so there's that. You want me to come back when you finish taking that off? Oh, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just taking off boards. But as you can see, I really screwed the shit out of it. So now it doesn't want to come off. Of course not. And I can't get the damn screws to line up. Of course. Because I'm blind as a bat. And no, the glasses don't help. No, glasses do not help. <laughs> Okay, I'll be back. And you wanted to show them what? Okay, so this is real screen. I tell you, teach you two life hacks. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to just rip it off. I could, but I want to. So I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. Oh, that tool for everything. Mm-hmm, the multi-tool. And put it underneath there and then just pull them up and make a much smaller hole that way. Because this screen can be reused. Yes. Especially if I pressure wash it. Yes. If I pressure wash it, it'll look like brand new screen. Okay, so this is regular, hard, what they sometimes call, uh, what do they call it? Well, it's, it's, it's screen wire, but they have another name for it, hardware cloth. They also call anything with a small, anything from screen to the stuff used for rabbit cages. They'll call hardware cloth sometimes. But it's basically metal screening. Okay, and here's your other life hack. Do you have teenage children? Do they sneak out your windows? When we had teenage children, that's when I put this on here <laughs> and put it down with boards and screwed it on. Because then if they went out the fucking windows, we knew it. Yes, yes. So they had to sneak out the doors. Yeah, my, ch my poor children. <laughs> my poor children. They, they, they were underprivileged. They had to sneak out the doors instead of sneaking out the windows. Because, yeah, I put screen wire. I didn't change the windows until they were gone. <laughs> yeah. But it's also, you know, it's like, but it's a... Uh, I can use this again. I mean, this is this is a nice piece of screen. It's not damaged, uh -uh. really. It'll be damaged around the edges where I yes. screwed through it and put... It doesn't freaking matter. I'll put it well, in the my, great big middle is I'll great. I'll put it in my junk and plunder and have it to do something else with. And someday it'll be a wonderful thing that we really need. Yep. 
Well, and this kind of stuff stores in a very small space. Yes, so if you well, if you clean it up and store it correctly, absolutely. It takes no space at all. Yeah. So, yeah, and so that's just what I'm going to be doing. But that's what I'm doing, so that's boring. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm going to show them what's on the ground here. There's the screen she took off. And the trim boards that she says she's going to be able to, they're in good shape, she's going to be able to pressure wash them, pull all the fasteners out, and um, reuse them to retrim, which will be nice, saving money. Okay, so the outside's done. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to get up here and pressure wash from this, which is not safe. No. Um, but it's not working trying to get it all from the ground, so I'll do all that. Um, currently... I just pulled out two screws that I had put in here to keep this window from falling down. So now I have to go inside and take this window out, which I'm assuming will be a teetotal bitch. <laughs> okay, we'll get good film. I'm going to try to um, knock this loose. See this 40 years of paint? Uh huh. That's going to keep it from coming out. So the first thing I've got to do is actually loosen it up from out here and take these boards out if these are boards and they don't go into the wall which on some of the other windows they were part of the wall board and that seems to be the case there too which means I will have to saw them out before I can put it on the window which I've had to do in different parts of this house so yeah because yeah. she's replaced all these windows except this one except this one well, and other parts of the house as well, so we've got... The only place I need to take the two windows is this one and the one in the uh, office, because the ones in the office were already aluminum windows. They were already aluminum they're windows. They're thermal pane, but they're aluminum sack windows. Well, and they were, they're on the porch, they're so they're the covered. Porch, so they don't get a lot of wind or anything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is a, this is all glued in here. And I think I did part of that, so... Well, we'll go inside then. Yeah. We'll okay. Okay, I see I missed part of the process in here. Taking well, all that... crap I took off the inside. Oh, from the inside? Yeah, now I've got it. Okay, so I got it all apart and I realized there's an uh, aluminum uh, tracking system. Oh, lovely. So, how do you get the aluminum tracking system out? Well, first off, I don't know, I don't know how the hell they got windows in here. I'm going to try it one more time without cutting the track, but I think I cannot do it. I cannot figure out how to do it without... I imagine they put them up with uh, one up and fastened the track at the bottom. And then stuck it in there. And then I've never put them in, so I don't know. I'm going to need you to hold it up for it, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my saws all Cut the track, put the window in, pop it out. Okay, okay, good. Well, and I'm going to turn this off and then I yeah, can hold. Yeah, you, because you're... Okay, we are on. Okay, so I cut both sides now. And I just basically just take a hammer in there. And pull that sucker out of there. Okay. It was just a piece of crap stuff. But, you know, I say that, meanwhile... We've been in it this house here. 31 years. And yeah. this is the way they had put it in. So now I'm hoping I can just, yeah, and I can. There. And now I have this. Now, like I said, this one's plexi. So I will probably make a picture frame or something out of that. Or Yeah, we've done a lot of those. Or pull, or you've done a lot of yeah, those. Yeah, a lot of shit like that all over the house. But you can make picture frames. You can make all kinds of stuff out of old windows you can use them for an old window yeah if you need a window somewhere now i have to see if i can pull this one down and i don't know because it is really stuck oh wait a is minute. there a keeper on there oh some asshole probably me put, put nails. nails in there to keep that from falling down yeah that looks like i can't even that blame looks like a else. selena fix that looks like a selena fix well, because these old windows, the tops would come down so you could get the heat out when you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Without opening the whole window. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. That was a Selena fix. Well, it worked. They didn't yeah. come down. Right. Now it's probably going to fall when you pull that out. Well, we'll see. I doubt it's going to no, fall. It's I imagine I'm going to work it. <laughs> well, not only that, you'll notice that I've twisted that track. Yes. So I'm going to have to untwist that track. 
with my handy uh, um, multi-purpose multi tool. Multi-purpose tool there. Now everybody who says, but you could break your screwdriver. <coughs> Hell, I got drawers full of the sons of bitches. Many of them given to you. For Most of them cleaning out somebody's ass or something. Here we go. Yay. And let's see if this one's going to come out as easy as the other one did. This one's glass, so I have to be a little bit more careful. Let's just be yanking and pulling and tugging and tearing. Okay, so let me see. Mm. Okay, so I think... See, I'm figuring this shit out. You won't have to. <laughs> Maybe if we push it back up and you cut more of that track off? No. I, well, that would be too, but I think I can do it just by flattening these. This is like a popcorn fart. You know? Yeah. I think I can do it just by knocking that down so that I can get it out of the way. We'll see if that doesn't work, then I'll cut another piece of the track. There we go. We go. It's off. Oh, there's a spring in there. What? Yes, it's spring loaded. Well, interesting. Ow, that didn't hurt. Me. No, I imagine there not. We go. Okay, second window out. Yay. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, it was spring loaded. Interesting. So, yeah, they obviously meant the top to open separately from the bottom. But, okay. But. As I assume, because there's no header under this, right? This is a replacement. Yeah. This is ancient. But see those? Yeah. There's probably still weights in this wall. Oh, that's right. From that a weighted window. That is holes for window weights. So, this was the new window. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. See, there's another set of window yeah. weights. Yep. So this is the new window they put in. This replace. house is ancient. By this the way. house is ancient, and that is obviously this is the new window. Do you remember what year that the plumber's note was? It was 19 what they moved it. Electricians. Electricians, rather. They moved this part, central part of this house, in here in 1950 something, didn't they? That electrician thing mm -hmm. was from. The first time this house had electric in it, and mm -hmm. it was from the 30s. The 30s, okay. But it was moved, yeah. the central part was actually moved in here, and then they built on. So, yeah, originally it had window weights, and then they put that in, and now I'm getting it ready to put thermal glass in, thermal pin glass. But unfortunately, I neither need to, I'm not going to cut that out. I think I'm going to work around it the trim from the old yeah, window. Yeah, I've got, okay, the window is 36 inches tall. I'm taking this out. Yeah, so I got quite a bit of play. 36 inches, that way I can put a header in. Yes, and you don't have to take your and, window uh, so out. I can, I've got, I need 24 and a quarter. You got lots so of play. So I got plenty of play. So I can actually go in and put a board in here mm -hmm. and flatten this out, put a board in there, flatten that out, leave that little piece in. And put a good header in. And uh, put a header in. But now I have to get this board out because this one's at an angle. Oh, okay. And, the window uh, sill. Yeah, the window sill's at an angle. And I wish that would come out, but that is, I either have to cut that. You know what? I won't have to do that one. I could do this one with my sawzall. Cut that out of there. Although the problem is, what I'll do is I'll, I know what I'll do. Never mind. I will not do that. What I will do is I'll get me a piece of board that's this wide and stick it here and stick a little one there. 
Yep. And then put a good board over the top of the whole thing. That sounds good. Then, uh, you got lots of play, so why not? Make it nice and solid. Pull the crap out of everything. But yeah. This, though, is going to be a booger because I think it's actually grooved in. I think it's under this board. Probably. I may have to... If it's going to make it difficult. <laughs> everything so far today. Yes, yes, no kidding. Um... I may have to cut that off with the sawzall. We'll come back after you've decided what you need to do. Okay, okay that's a good idea because right now I'm getting.